Welcome to Net Backup Tech Briefs. Today we'll be talking about Net Backup Parallel Streaming. Parallel Streaming was designed to protect some of the largest workloads in the industry today. Commonly, these workloads are Hadoop, MongoDB. These are clustered, scalable workloads that have a lot of data that need to be protected. Now, the Parallel Streaming Framework can be used for those workloads, but can be used to any architecture that happens to have a clustered model, such as Nutanix. Before we get into the value of Parallel Streaming Framework, why don't we talk first about what are some of the challenges with existing approaches. The issues that customers are facing today is that they're trying to use legacy approaches to protect their data. They also will sometimes use a NFS mount in order to mount protect the data. Let's take a look at two options that customers are using today to protect their large workload environments. In this diagram, we have a, an Hadoop cluster. Uh, as you can see, we have a name node and multiple name no uh, data nodes. The name node is primarily a traffic cop, if you will. It's what metadata is. There is no data, no information on that that needs to be protected. The information is on the data nodes. So if the information is on the data nodes, ideally, I'd like to protect the data at the data node level. But that's not what happens. What we do is we put an agent on the name node. By putting an agent on the name node, that requires that all the data from the data nodes has to be processed through the name node out to the backup server. Then, of course, it falls out to storage. This approach will not only back up redundancy uh, the same data multiple times, but it's inefficient and has a bottleneck. We cannot process that amount of data through that single backup server. That's why this approach doesn't work for many customers. Let's look at the second option. In this environment, you've got a Hadoop cluster, which happens to have a clustered pair, and commonly that is used for high, high availability reasons. Now, in this case, you know, they'll be moving data between the boxes. And then what they'll like to do is do an NFS dump, if you will, to some NFS storage. Now, keep in mind, if your Hadoop cluster is a petabyte of data, you need a petabyte of storage of NFS storage. The backup server will then come along and do a mount and backup that data and move that to the backup storage, another petabyte of data. So I'm moving a good amount of data through this, and it's redundant data. So from a cost standpoint, this is very high. The other challenge we've got is, it's from a recovery standpoint, I need two recovery steps. Step one, to move the data to the uh, NFS server, and step two, to move the data back into the cluster. This approach is not designed to solve the problems of protecting a large workload like Hadoop. Let's take a look at Parallel Streaming Framework and see how we can do that. We designed NetBack a Parallel Streaming Framework to solve some of the challenges I mentioned earlier. Let's talk about the components of this architecture. It starts with a NetBackup master server. The master server is where we keep our catalog. It's where we do policy management and scheduling. This is where our big data policy will be used to protect the Hadoop environment. Additionally, we have backup host. Backup hosts are like data movers. It will be processing the data directly from the data nodes. As you can see, we can have an unlimited number of backup hosts. This gives us our scalability. Another key part of our solution are plugins. Plugins are installed on each backup host. Those plugins will communicate with the data node to know what it needs to back up. Now, I should point out, a backup host could be a media server or a client. If it's a media server, it will process the data directly out to the storage. If it's a client, then we'll need a media server in between. For our design, we're going to use it as a media server. Now that we understand the components of the solution, let's talk about the flow of data. At the start of a backup, the master server will trigger the policy to run. The plugin will communicate with the name node. Together, they will determine how to distribute the blocks across the environment. Each block unique block will be sent through the backup host and land on the storage. So in this case, we will have an A1 block, a B1 block, and a C1 block. So even though A1 block lives on multiple data nodes, we only process it one time through one backup host to our storage. This says, saves a great deal of storage and why we're a more cost-effective option than that NFS dump we talked about earlier. Once we have the net backup image, we now can copy it throughout the net backup environment. That means we can copy it out to an access appliance that offers long-term retention for on-prem storage. We could also send it to the cloud, or we could send it out to tape. These options are available to us because now net backup and the power of net backup can be used to distribute that data wherever we want to distribute it.
When it's time to do a restore, the Net Backup Master will kick off the restore process. We will identify a backup host to process the data, identify the blocks we need to recover, and those blocks will be sent directly to the data node. Recovery is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Let's recap the value of Net Backup Parallel Streaming. First, it's efficient and it's scalable. As you can see, we do not back up the same blocks multiple times. Secondly, it's three times faster. Why? We leverage multiple backup hosts to protect the workloads. Third, it's API-driven, which means it's very agile and nimble. We can change as the workloads change. Fourth, it's agentless. As you saw earlier, no agent was placed on the primary data nodes. Only lightweight plugin was put on the backup host. We use one-third less storage because we protect the data one time to our storage pool. And if it so happens that our storage pool is a net backup appliance with a deduplication pool, we get even more savings. We also introduced in the latest version of net backup a parallel streaming SDK kit. That would allow you to integrate with our architecture with your workloads. For more information, visit veritas.com slash modernworkloads.